I'm jumping off a bridge. I think we just found an infinite magnet fishing glitch. Oh, that's a jewelry box. That's a gun. It broke in half. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing and we found this spot that we were at last time we were here and it's very interesting because it's really low and it's somewhere that we normally would not magnet fish. It's all culverts. We're gonna go ahead, grab the magnets, hopefully go find a bunch of cool stuff. So don't forget to leave a like and let's get right into the video. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to fish here. Look at that. That is the most magnetic flakes I've ever gotten on one throw. You can't even see the magnet. <laughs> Handfuls of garbage. I might actually have something here. Oh yeah, I got a little something there. I think I'm gonna move down a little section, a little piece of something. Look at the water line on the trees. You can see it was really flooded at one point. The water line's like above my head. Hey, oh, here's a Joe battery. The heck was that? Oh, no, I, I can't just, I, I can't sneeze now. Dang, look on my case today. Google Maps recognizes this as a road, but there's no bridge. So we're gonna have to go drive all the way around. But we're gonna take this mattress that someone decided to burn right here. That's like 20 pounds, at least. Hey, there we, it's the perfect size. We're at another spot here, but there's no water. We looked over the side and I see something on my side. Blake's got a couple things on his. So we're just gonna come down here and grab it. I got me a freaking weed whacker. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, I got some goggles. There we go. Let's go. Is there anything else under there? I don't see nothing. What you got over there? Nothing. No. Dang. Still counts, still counts in my boat. Oh my gosh, dude, you got so much stuff. I'm jumping off a bridge. Oh, I don't know why I jumped down there. <laughs> if your friend jumped off a bridge, would you? Close. Oh, how can you make better buckets not even seen? That, this man is going crazy. He's making buckets like you won't believe. Oh. Maybe magnet fishing wasn't really my calling. Yeah. Dang, the booty builder. He made every single one. That's not fair. I can't even make a I can't even make it in when I can see the bucket. We've taken like two throws and we got half the trailer full. <laughs> All this stuff, nothing in the trailer was found magnet fishing. I think I've actually been to this spot like years ago. I don't remember though. Do I got something? Oh yeah, I got a couple things. Oh, I actually got something with my magnets. All right, there we go. We got a little, some sort of little pin. I got a tape measure. Oh, it's a broken tape measure though. All right. No. Oh, that was really close. Almost just littered. We also got a railroad spike. I see something on there. What is it? Honestly, it looks like, ah, oh, it looked like another tape measure. I don't know what that is. It's like a little cap for something. Almost looks like some sort of shopping cart wheel. Got a couple things again. Whoa, that thing's just barely magnetic. It looks like a piece for like something, something with gas and a couple nails. There we go. I got something all the way out there. It's pretty heavy. I have no idea. That's got some serious weight to it though. That's what the backside looks like. If you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comments. I have no idea. Oh, it's an iron. Oh, that is cool. That has not been down there that long either. Look at that. It's an old iron. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That thing is sick, man. Man, everything I'm finding is like super far out there. This is definitely heavier. What do we got? All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> we got a magnet full. Got this little weird filter thing. Looks like a filter. Some sort of pipe or is that like a drill bit of some sort? No, there's copper on the inside of that. I don't know what that is, but there's like a little layer of copper. Throw that in the bucket. And we got an old Budweiser can and a piece of a crankbait. It's an old crankbait and have a metal lip. I think this is a knife blade. Jeez, that's a big knife blade right there. All right, it looks like, yeah, it says American Angler. It's a flay knife blade for electric flay knife. I got a little washer. Well, I say little, that thing is huge. There we go, that thing's like the size of my palm. Throw that in the bucket, man. Let's take a throw a little bit more to the right. Oh, here we go. I got something. I got a little piece of a pipe. Nothing really too crazy. Got some pipe. Yeah, the buckets are filling up. Just little pieces of junk. I got something. I got a piece of an outlet. There we go. We got some outlet. Some outlet, some outlets. I don't know, this is definitely not plural. We got a outlet. Half of a battery, a hollow battery. I've never seen that before. Oh, look at that. It's an old container of something. What does that say on there? Oh, let's open it first. It's old mints, I think. That's cool. Throw that in there. I got some more coming up. Looks like a, I don't know, it's some sort of car plug. We got this thing, some little moat. Ooh, 
Or do we have a cylinder? Does not look like a cylinder. Looks like some sort of piece of a motor. I thought it was like a cylinder to a revolver. There we go, it's got some weight to it. Oh my goodness, I got a ton of stuff on that throw. What do we got there? Holy cow, a magnet full. Oh, look at that, it's a piece of a roller blade or a roller skate. We got a, some chain. Man, we just got a magnet full little piece of pipe. It looks like some sort of wheel maybe, some can lids and just a bunch of nails. Here's like a knife handle <laughs> to like silverware. I think this is a file. Yeah, we got a file. Dang, man, that was a throw and a half. Here we go, we got another full magnet. Oh, there we go, we got the other side of the roller blade. Let's go, we got the pair. A little bracket, just a bunch of garbage here, man. What are these? I thought these were lids, but they're not. I don't know. We got a bunch of junk. We'll take it though. We're gonna fill up our bucket fast. Also, if you guys would like to pick up one of these 360 magnets for yourself and go find some cool stuff, go check out battlemagnets.us. The link's down in the description. Use code OUTDOORSWEEKLY for 10% off your entire order. So if you guys wanna go find some cool stuff or know someone who wants to get into magnet fishing, you wanna buy them a present? Battlemagnets.us. Look at that, man. Look at that, that whole thing. <laughs> Geez, it takes that long to get something. I think we got a piece of a plow right there. That's why you gotta get the 360 magnet, man. Look at that. Got it right on top. We also got a D battery too. Let's go. Ooh, I got a sick pocket knife on that throw. Woo, there we go, look at that. Got a super cool knife. I don't think it's gonna work anymore. You could probably fix it up and make it work. I can literally see the top of my mind now. I don't know how I can't see this stuff. It must be under the mud. What is this? That is weird looking. It's like a nail with some weird little clip through it well, here's a bracket just a bunch of junk man bunch of junk oh it? yeah all the time <laughs> i'd like to try to do that that's where i bet that's oh yeah it's fun we find all sorts of stuff i'd like to go in water and try to do that i know where some stuff's at oh yeah it's yeah. it's crazy you won't believe some of the stuff we found over oh, the years man. of doing it holy crap this is big all right here we go here we go oh what the heck where'd it go I just had it. All right, well, I got a bunch of stuff on this throw here. That wasn't even the big thing that flipped up. Bunch of junk right there. There we go, we got another, we got a speaker magnet right there. There we go. All right, what do we got here? Man, I swear, there's just so much stuff just straight down. Looks like a pipe. We're gonna go hit up another spot. Well, we did manage to get a five gallon pail full. Actually, way more stuff than I was expecting to find here. Woo, there we go. Oh yeah, first throw, baby, got something. Woo. Yeah, there we go. We got an exhaust. I think that goes to a motorcycle. Whoo, we got something big on the first throw, an exhaust to a motorcycle. I've not gotten anything since my first throw. It's like one of those little trot line things. Here we go. I got, finally, I got something on this side. Looks like just some garbage though, man. All right, well, we're gonna go to another spot now. Hopefully find some better stuff. Got the cutest little piece of rebar right there. Oh, look at the rebar. Oh, geez, all right, it looks like I don't know, it's just another piece of flat metal. Is that a brake pad? No, we're good, all right. <laughs> you guys don't know, we've been on a crazy streak of finding brake pads recently. It's been actually insane how many brake pads we've been pulling up. Oh, there's a little fishing lure on there too. Just a little guy. All right, there we go, man. Just a bunch of garbage. Oh, I got a CO2 cartridge. Hey, me and Blake got our first finds. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we got a couple things on the first throw. Got a piece of rebar. Oh, big ass spider. Oh no, he's on my rope. He's on my magnet. Get away. Oh man, all right, we gotta watch out for that freaking spider down there. All right, well, we got a couple things. I don't know what that is. Sorry, I went into went into spider mode. I know we've been having a rough day so far, but this spot right here, this looks really good. This wasn't where we were going. This spot doesn't even pop up on Google Maps. There's not, it doesn't even say there's a river here. Dang, does this look good? This is by far the best looking spot we've been to all day. Oh, I got a couple things here. All right, what do we got? Oh man, whoa, what is this? That's crazy looking. No idea what that is, but We'll take it. We just got a magnet full of junk. More stuff than I found on the other side on one throw. That was a big click right there. Oh, I got something big. Yo, it's like a whole table. Yes, finally, I got something. <laughs> Bam, there we go. Finally, we're on the board with something good. Been a struggle, but we made it happen. There we go. We got a glass, like a table. It's missing the glass part, though. Find a couple more of those and fill up the trailer. Ooh, that feels like a click all the way out there, too. I got a breath from that table. Let's go, it's like a little 
some sort of, I don't even know what to call it. Like a piece of a shelf, maybe? A random piece of metal. Uh, it's like some sort of tool. Are they catfish skinners? Yeah. I didn't know what these were for the longest time. You grab the skin of the catfish and you pull it back after you flay it. That's how you do it, man. We also got a ton of nails and stuff. But I also was feeling a couple big things. I'm about 80% sure it's an object. About 20% sure it's a log. What is this? That is interesting looking. It's like some sort of pipe. I, yeah, it's a pipe of some sort. It's got the little twisty tie thing on there. Man, it just feels good to find stuff. Let's go! A horseshoe? A horseshoe! Oh, finally! Boy, got a horseshoe. Our day is saved now. Hopefully that brings us some luck. Oh, and I got my thing. The horseshoe, dude. Oh, it's a singer. It's a singer. Sewing machine? Yeah, it's a sewing machine, dude. We just found one of these in our storage unit. Yeah! Woo! There we go. Man, we found, I don't know if this is a singer sewing machine. This thing's all metal, though. But we found one of these in our, I don't know if you guys saw the storage unit video that we did. We bought an abandoned storage unit and there was a super old one of these in there and it ended up being worth like $700. I don't think this one's worth anything near that. <laughs> oh, there's a little foot pedal that you make it go with. Oh, it's just barely dangling on there. Oh, it's a piece of a bike. You got bike handlebars. <laughs> Oh, that's a jewelry box, isn't it? Oh, it's just the top. Oh, I just saw that, man. That looked like a like a ring box. Yeah. Well, we got a bike handlebar here. I don't think we're gonna be able to do any riding with that one. What do we got? Oh my gosh, what don't we have is the better question. We got a full magnet right here. Jeez, all right, just like a little pipe. Honestly, just looks like a bunch of chunk, but hey, we got it. I don't know what these things are. Looks like some sort of electrical thing. Got one of those like on my first throw on this side. Bunch of junk. Hey, this all adds up though, man. Good weight for the scrap yard. Tons of nails too for like a nail gun. It is just full of stuff again. Oh, I got my own horseshoe. Let's go. All right, we got double the luck. Finally, we needed this. We needed these. Oh, it's a septum piercing. Let's go. Here we go. I got a full magnet. Oh my gosh, man. It is just every single throw right there. Look at that, that was one throw, y'all, one throw. Oh, it's like a little Zippo lighter. That's pretty cool. Just tons of like pieces of the bridge and stuff. What do we get, what do we get? I can't even tell what everything is. All right, well, we got this weird looking thing. This is like weird shaped metal right here. All this stuff is like weird, like I haven't seen any stuff like this before. Like that, <laughs> what is that? This weird stuff, I wonder if it's like for like electrical stuff. Dude, what? There's, this is so high. Well, let's see if we can make something happen. Get this bee away from me, bro. Oh, I got something coming. Oh man, I was snagged, dude. I was caught under a freaking rock. Got a little brake shoe. Dang, this thing, that's a thick one. That is a thick brake pad right there. Oh man, I wonder if that's like two of them combined. All right, well, there we go. We got something at least. Dang, this thing's got some good weight to it. It's coming up though. There's a couple things on here actually. Yeah, there we go. We got a bunch more brake pads. Oh, we got the full set. There we go. We got the full set of brake pads in two throws. I'm gonna get a shoulder workout today. What do we got? We got just a little piece of a muffler, I think. We got a little piece of muffler, a lot of car parts going on here. Is that a pipe? I think we got some sort of big pipe. I also moved a log down there too. No, it's an oxygen tank. Yes, sir. There we go. The cool part about these is usually there's a an expiration date on here so you can see how old they are. I do not see one on this one though. All right, well we got an oxygen tank. We've also got a, a ton of nails. More brake pads, holy cow. We got all sorts of shapes and size brake pads too. Like look at that, we got some little baby ones. Two Mondo brake pads right there. That looks like a whole set of them. That almost looks like there's just four all together. All right, well we're gonna have a full five gallon pail of brake pads by the end of this, I have a feeling. Uh, we got one little thing coming up. If I had to guess, it's probably a brake pad though. Oh, how could have I guessed, man? Another brake pad. Oh, we're hooked up all the way out there. Oh, it's a motor. Oh, it's still got a cord attached to it. <laughs> there we go, we got it, man. Definitely the heaviest thing of the day so far. Oh, awesome, man. It feels so good to find stuff. Look at all these cords dangling off of it. I don't know what kind of motor this was, but it's got a bunch of cords on it. This is good. I don't think anybody's been magnet fishing here before. That's how you know the spot is completely loaded because the last like four throws, I've thrown and instantly landed on something. Oh, man. 
There's not very many times a magnet fishing spot gets me out of breath for finding little stuff like this. I'm happy with that. I'll gladly be out of breath if it means I'm finding stuff. There we go. We've been here for like five minutes and we're already getting a nice little pile going. Oh, we got a couple little brake pads again, man. It's like a mechanic dumping ground here. Start taking bets on how many freaking brake pads we're going to pull out of this spot. We got to be at at least a dozen so far. Here we go. Come on up, baby. This is such a workout. <laughs> Man. Woo. I had to focus all my energy on pulling that up. I didn't even have time to talk. Side post number two. Is it the same size? There we go. We got two identical signposts. This spot is taking an eye to me. We got it, though. Wait, is that a brake pad? That doesn't really look like a brake pad. That's a gun. Wait, is it? That is 100% a gun. It broke when it hit my magnet. Oh, I thought it was a brake pad. Are you kidding me? It broke in half. Dude, let's go. That has been down there for forever. That's kind of sick, dude. Look how long the barrel is on that thing. Dang, it's a shame it broke. It's still a little bit connected. The magnet stuck it to it too hard. That has been down there for a while. Let's go, baby. First gun of the day. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take another throw on that same spot and see if there's another one. I got this thing again, but it's like tied down there. Oh, there we go, we got it. Oh, well, no, we had it. I don't know what that is. It's like a metal piece of rebar with rope tied around it. It's probably someone's like homemade fishing rig. If there wasn't sticks here, you know how much stuff we'd be finding right now? It would be insane. It keeps knocking everything off the magnet. Oh, looks like a brake pad and a tar seat buckle. Yeah. There we go. Oh man, I wonder if that's what that big thing is. That is a buckle for like a side-by-side -side or something. It, it doesn't quite look car. It looks like something smaller though, but we got a piece of a buckle. And all these brake pads. We're currently at half of a five gallon bucket full of brake pads. <laughs> there we go. We pulled something out of the mud. Oh, it's a brake pad and something else. That is a jumbo brake pad. And this almost looks like a curtain rod holder, you know, like to hold the curtains up. I don't know if it's actually what it is, but we got another brake pad for our collection. We got something with some weight right here. I'm not going to say it, but that kind of looks like a, uh, no, it's just two brake pads put together. Dang it. It looked like a gun. Well, we just got a ton of brake pads on that throw. Got gun fever now. And it sucked because these brake pads, like this, this is like the same weight as a freaking gun would feel coming up on the magnet too. We're gonna get another one. It's gonna be in good condition. It's gonna be a damn RPG. Feels like a brake pad. So many brake pads. I'm cursed by that brake pad devil. I can't get away from them. All right, that's good though. We gotta pull them out of the river, man. We gotta pull them out of the river. Here we go. We got something. Please don't be brake pads. I don't think it's a brake pad. It feels too heavy to be a brake. Gosh, damn it. I think, <laughs> I think it's a brake shoe. Man, so many pieces of brakes. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what that is. Well, we'll take it. It's pretty much found in the same spot as all the brake pads were. Oh, more brake pads. I think I'm gonna take a throw on the other side here. I just wanna find something different than a brake pad. Oh, well, we finally did get something different. This spot has layers. I think we finally broke through the brake pad layer, but now we're getting to whatever the heck these things are layer. Those things are pretty heavy. Some sort of rod. I see a chair on the bank down there. First throw on this side. Let's see if we can make something happen. I landed right on top of this bad boy. Oh, come on, stay on. I don't know what that was. Oh, it's cause there's two on there. It's a bed frame, man. I remember last time we were here, we found so many bed frames for some reason. We're not even close to where we found all the other bed frames either. You can just tell though, this stuff's been down there for forever. It, look at that, it's just breaking. I don't know what it is, but it's coming up. I got, I got it on the top of the magnet. Damn, man, this is such a workout. Yeah, I think we're gonna be just pulling apart this bed frame down there. It looks like two identical pieces. It's the same combination for the third time in a row. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I literally just found these two things on the last two throws as well. I feel like that's like a glitch in the matrix or something because I literally just got two identical pieces. Oh, dude, I think we just found an infinite magnet fishing glitch right here. Technically, this would be an infinite money glitch. As long as I stay here and just pull it up and fill up the trailer, I could become a millionaire, hypothetically. I don't know how many, how many pounds of metal I'd have to take to the scrap yard, but... Oh, this looks like a piece of a trampoline. Oh, man. Oh, that's definitely a piece of a trampoline, I think. Actually, no. This square makes me think it's not i don't know that might be a piece of a trampoline mm, this is a lot heavier than it looks y'all oh because that's solid Woo! there we go we got a big piece of rebar on it as well as a little bonus damn that rebar made it heavy though pulling up random pieces of metal on this side all right let's get this bad boy up i don't know what it is oh, excuse my grunting y'all but this thing's heavy oh 
We got it. I don't know what that is, but damn, is that thing heavy. We got some words right here. It says pressure low side, something Texas, caution, men test pressure, little water pump maybe. I don't know what that is, but it's heavy. If y'all know what this is, let me know down in the comments. That sucker was heavy. It's very dense. It's not very big. Finally, we got something different than a random piece of metal. There we go. We got something with a decent amount of weight. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a piece of a motor, I think. Dang, man. Yeah. I think that's a motor head. I could be wrong though. Y'all let me know. Is this a motor head? I'm sorry. I'm asking for y'all for a lot of help today, but I want to know what some of this stuff is. I wonder if it goes to that thing. Well, I got a couple things that were magnetic though. Little tire pressure gauge. I don't even know if that was in the water. Screw drive or a, a drill bit and a little Dollar General battery. All right, I got just like a leaf or something. Oh, it's just like a little wrench. We're not really getting anything too good. So I'm just gonna go on to another spot. I don't wanna waste my time here. We were close to an OG spot. So we had to come and stop by and show it a little love. I know some of y'all gotta remember this bridge. The very first time I came to Arkansas, like, gotta be like close to four years ago now, we hit this bridge and it looks a lot lower than it, it was before. But we're gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna take some throws here. There's been some crazy stuff found at this bridge right here. Probably top 10 sketchiest bridges I've ever been on. Uh, just also throwing that out there. We are currently clawless, so I hope I didn't leave it at a bridge. Hopefully the claw is just in the trailer. Yeah. Man, there we go. Just a bunch of junk metal. Throw it in the bucket here. Take it. Wow, that just smacked on there. Holy cow. That was a massive click. Oh, we got a railroad tie. No wonder. It's just a big piece of metal. Dang, that thing. That thing freaking was a click and a half, though. Dang, that thing was on there good. I don't think that's a railroad tie. I think it's definitely some old plate to the bridge. Man, this bridge is just falling apart into the river. I have no idea what these things are, but there are, is a lot of them down there. Just like little pieces of wire. Okay, well I landed right on top of something huge. Whoa, what is this? All right, we got something with a ton of wires coming off of it. Oh, dang. We got something with a ton of cords hanging off the back of it. We got it though. Once again, I literally threw right on top of this thing well we'll put it right there let's take another throw in that spot i guess there we go i definitely am hooked up with something else here too uh i don't know what it is i think it's just a little piece of metal take my handful of rope throw that bag over see what we got i think this bridge is just falling apart we got a, a circle let's go tiny little piece of a pipe i guess i'm by myself and i always find big stuff when i'm by myself oh my gosh i got it to right there i got it past the first one stuck on the damn bridge bro Are you kidding me i might have just big brained let's see let's try the lasso technique let's go dude we actually got it are you kidding me holy crap dude we got it <laughs> I did not think we were getting that. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking heavy. Let's go, dude. We got a massive piece of I-beam. At least 50 pounds. And the magnet's gonna be easy to get unstuck. Ugh. Let's go. I'm gonna go hit a new spot because I'm sick and tired of dealing with this metal bridge. Let me know down in the comments though. Should we come back and scuba dive this spot? I've wanted to scuba dive this spot for years and I never did, but we got all of our gear fully serviced now. So we are ready to go. Ah, we got our first find. Hey, maybe we could throw this on my trailer and we'll finally be legal. Well, we made it to the next spot. Already got a license plate. That's pretty cool. It's not very deep, but I see stuff. A chair to a boat, two chairs to a boat. Well, at least we got a license plate. It's kind of disappointing. And that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys have made it this far the video, comment done down in the comments. We ended up finding that pistol and a bunch of other really cool stuff. I think we're going to end up going back to that spot eventually to get the rest of the stuff. Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.